Hello, in this video I'm going to give you six sites that you can sell your 3D models on. I'll also be giving you some tips on how you can sell your models, and I'll also tell you whether I think it's worth it or not. So first of all, let's start off with is it worth it? Well, all the research that I've done and from my experience, I think it's extremely tough to make a good amount of money online selling 3D models. However, there are some people out there that make a living out of it, and it certainly can be a good passive income. So for me, I put some of my work online so people can see it as portfolio pieces and so forth. And a lot of the time I think, well, why not just put them up for sale as well? I've spent the time making the piece and once you've made it, it's kind of sitting there doing nothing. It might as well be making you some sort of income, possibly. But like I say, it's very difficult to make a good income from this. And I'll put a link in the description and hopefully a card in the corner, linking you to a video where someone talks about his process as well. And that video is well worth a look because they're trying to actually build Build a career on selling models. So let's actually take a look at some sites now. So the site with probably the most traffic is Turbo Squid, and you can see that they accept a whole range of models. Most people upload with FBX or OBJs, but you can see some program specific ones there as well. And you can see the types of quality as well. Let's go into this horse for example and they sell high quality models. And you might be looking at some of these prices and think, oh, well, I can earn a huge amount. But you have to consider how much time has gone into this model and how many of these models they actually sell per year, let's say. And like I say, some artists do really well out of this, but for the most part, the stories are that people struggle to make a living. You can see the detail that this person has put into presenting their model. So they've got all sorts of views. They've got 360 displays, and that's something you'll certainly want to do as well if you want to sell lots of models. They've also got their wireframe and textures. On Turbo Squid, the artists receive 40% of the total sale value. I believe some artists get 80% with some kind of guild program or something like that where people get exclusive models, something like that anyway, but generally it's 40%. This would be considered fairly poor, to be honest, and other sites offer far higher commission to the artists. The problem with going to a site like this is that there are well-established artists on there and you are competing with them for views. So getting your model seen is going to be very tough. Another popular site is CG Trader. This is more popular for artists because the commission rates are much better. They're between 70 to 90%, but it depends on your reputation level. The traffic to the site isn't as much as Turbo Squid, but with the commission rates that they are, I would probably recommend CG Trader over Turbo Squid. They categorize their models well, rather than by program, they actually categorize by useful buyer subjects. So let's look at 3D printing, for example, and house. And you can get an idea of the prices and quality from here. You get a quick preview of the objects and you can go in for more detail. Another site that's very good is Sketchfab. This is gaining a lot of ground and the traffic to this website is getting close to Turbo Squid now. So it's becoming one of the more popular platforms for people to certainly view 3D objects. It's not all about sales and not everybody on there is selling their items. So it can also work as a portfolio site or just the site to view 3D objects. But the real advantage that this has is that you can see the objects in full and view from lots of different angles. What's even better is that you have a model inspector. So you can go in and find out how high poly or low poly it is, and it gives you details on all the different textures. It also shows you any animations, so you can get an idea of the weights of the character and how well it copes with movement. So as a buyer, this is very good. As a seller, you get 70% commission. This is where I sell my 3D models. Because I started using it as a portfolio site in the first place, it was very simple for me to just press a button and offer my models for sale. And the prices I charge depend on the complexity of the model, whether it's game ready or print ready and so on. I don't earn a great deal from this, and there's no way that I could make a living by uploading models and selling Selling them alone. I think I've probably earned around $100 at the very most. Now it's also worth noting that ArtStation are also allowing artists to sell their pieces and projects. This site again has a huge amount of traffic, so it is a good place to promote yourself. And whilst promoting yourself, you can offer up your items for sale. The commission rates are at 70% again, and I've heard good reports about people doing well on here compared to other sites. This is of course not just for 3D models, but 2D artwork as well. Now if you make just solely game models, then Unity Asset Store is another great place to sell. Now some people have done really well out of this, but that is only a few people from what I'm aware of. And you can see that the assets are very wide ranging. 
in both price and subject. Kits and packs do very well apparently, but there is a fair bit you have to do to your model in order to make it suitable for this type of platform. Also, you will have to download and install Unity and a kind of add-on to enable upload of your models. Also, it has to be verified by Unity in order for you to sell. Unity is a big player when it comes to game engines, so if you do sell game models, then this is a good place to go. If you are thinking of selling on this platform, you might want to look at some of the free assets just to see what you're up against. And if your level isn't quite this, then the fact that people are selling these things for free, you may struggle. If you do choose to sell on Unity, you get 70% of the final sale. Another interesting site is Shapeways. Now this is slightly different, this is for 3D printing. But the particularly interesting thing here is that you don't have to make or build the product yourself with a 3D printer. It's only when people buy the product from Shapeways that it's printed out by Shapeways. And they will charge you for the cost of printing and take a percentage of the markup. So let's say it costs $10 to print and you were selling the product for $20, then they would take, I believe, around 4% of your markup, which is $10. This sounds the most popular platform for this. I believe there's iMaterialize as well. You could have a look at that if you're interested in this sector. This sounds a good avenue for 3D modelers. You will have to buy one of your printouts so you can market it and take photos of it. But from then on, you don't need any stock as Shapeways sorts it all out. So what are some good tips for selling your models and helping them to sell? Well, first of all, give it a good description and be clear about what the model is. A lot of the time, search engines look at the description as well as the tags, but that's another the point make sure your tags are nice and clear and you've got lots of them also most sites do a categories section so make sure yours is in the correct category by looking at what other models are in that category more obvious ones are making your titles nice and clear so be clear about what the model actually is don't give it a personalized name or something like that in your description you should be clear about whether it's high poly or low poly also be clear about the texture sizes and resolution you could even give some details about how it was created so people will understand what sort of model they're buying and be clear about things like is it game ready so is it low poly fully textured rigged and if it is rigged you want to have a video with it showing the weights and you might want to have some sort of animation shown as well if it's high poly then is it print ready so is it completely manifold so no overlapping uvs or inside faces and it may be that some sites don't allow you to upload large files so you may want to offer them an even larger file if it's let's say a very detailed sculpt so give clear details about how they can contact you to get that file asset packs can be quite useful so if you've let's say got a whole sort of wooden building asset pack so you've got lots of planks doorknobs and window frames and things like that those sort of packs can do quite well but with some of these packs it's helpful to make it easier for the buyer so put all your objects textures onto one map so that it performs well in games you may also want to create a sort of niche for yourself or some sort of style then you can kind of develop a brand associated with your name so if you specialize in let's say models for films and it's for visual effects or objects to go into visual effects for movies then it could be a good idea just to stick with that and really become good at that and like I say develop that brand then if people like your products they'll spread the word about you that you are a good artist for that type of thing within that you could have a specific style so something like stylized characters or maybe low poly landscapes and if you develop this kind of brand then you may be contacted for more personalized work from people so there's six sites and some useful tips about how you can sell your models online do comment below with your experiences and do check the comments as well because there may be other really useful sites and people's own experiences and if there's a particular comment that I think is really useful I will pin that so do look at the top comments Comment. You can also get across to my Discord server, the link's in the description, and there's lots of discussion going on there, or you can join in the competitions, which you can see in the background there. So as always, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.